Y'all, it's me, Stop Dropping Roll On, and I told y'all I would show y'all my little Pilates uh, situation right here, and that is it. And this is how I'm going to get my uh, arms slash guns ready for the summer. All right, I'll be y back. Y'all, it's me, Stop Dropping Roll On, and I'm back. I showed y'all my um, Pilates machine, get up, whatever you want to call it. It's not a, you know, it ain't the big dog reformer. Um... I don't really need that. I just need to make this thing I got. Let me move my hand. Work. Um, I might end up even bringing my um, tripod thing out here where I don't have to hold this. But anyway, for right now, I'm just going, since I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and do intention number 11. And um, intention number 11 is um, real simple. Rocks paper, scissors. That's, that's intention on me 11. And it kind of covers a whole bunch of components. Um, I just got off the treadmill and tapped in 4,000 steps. Um, I got something to go do. So I'm kind of developing a Sunday ritual, so to speak. Um, I just know that when I come home from church, uh, the number one thing to do is just to get it, get my workout clothes on and come out here and do what I got to do. I'm pretty sure that it'll probably transition over to um, maybe morning workouts or something like that. I don't know. But for right now, this is what I'm doing. Now, back to intention number 11. Number 11 deals with... There's a lady that I am subscribed to here on YouTube. And her name is Diane. And I don't know if I found Diane or if Diane found me, I cannot remember. All I know is that it's just a thing there. And I'm coming at it from my side. I can't speak for anybody but me. But I am drawn to what she stands for. I'm drawn for to her for on a whole lot of different reasons. Uh, I follow a lot of different cultures because that's important to me. I am, I think that we just all are multifaceted people. And I think that we kind of cheat ourselves when we just stay in our own box. Um, and those are just my thoughts. I mean, they're, they're my thoughts exclusively. And other people might feel that way, but I'm just speaking for myself when I say exclusively. And so, um, one of the cultures that I'm just, I won't say I'm fascinated by, but because I have Brits in my family, like my first cousins, okay? So I, I can say that um, <laughs> I love the culture. I mean, a lot of things that they that they stand for, it, everybody has some similar things like mores and stuff that we just kind of like do. Uh, we just might do them differently. And I'm into looking at people for what they uh, what they present and what they represent more than what they look like or what colors and all that stuff. Because of what my family is made out of, and I think that even if my family wasn't like a like a big old melting pot, I still don't think that I would have problems with people. You know, people. I mean, I'm talking about people. Like flesh and blood, emotions, souls, people, you know, and uh, so I just, Diane, she puts out good information. She just does. And I and I'm, I have some people that, I, I don't know, I can't explain it, but I have good people on, that come in and stop by on my channel. I have good people on my channel and I want to. Like, even like right now, I just want to thank y'all for being, for being who you are. There's some people that, they don't comment at all, and that's fine. And then there's some people that come by and they comment, and it just, whatever they bring, I'm cool with that. Because it's like you just pick up a certain personality of people, and it's good, it's good. But then, um, zestism. And I'm going to try to put a link down below. I'm um, try to do better with that. She talks, her her focus group, I should say, is just us ladies that's over 50. 
you know, uh, and and we and just helping us to get back to understanding that we still count, we still have value. And I'm not going to go all off into it because I'm going to invite you to go over there and see what her channel is about. You know, especially if you fall in that, in, and I won't say focus group, I should just say target audience, whatever the phrase is that you're most familiar with. And I'm pretty sure that it will probably be beneficial to some of you young ladies. It will probably be beneficial to any of you fellas if you are... um on my channel to help you know what your your lady is going through at this point because the things that are specific to us um at this age are different when you're in your 40s is different than when you are in your 30s is different than when you're in your 20s and you know we go all the way back it is a continuum and it changes and the needs are different and i just think that if those needs don't get met we got problems you know in river city so, uh, I said I'd like to say that one thing that we here, you know, American culture, we, we equate weight in pounds for the most part, pounds and ounces. And the British people say stones. So, hence, rocks. Not rock, paper, scissors, rocks. I, I plural, you know, made it plural for a reason. And, um, I'm, I just decided that I'm going to, I need to... I'm seeing some changes, but I want to see, I, I, I'm visual. And so I'm going to get two jars. This ain't nothing new. And I'm going to put what I've lost over in one jar and uh, what I want to lose over in another jar. But over in the other jar with the weight that I want to lose, I'm also going to put one little stone in there that is a different color than all the rest of them. And that stone will be moved out when I get to the size that I want to be. And it'll move over into the other jar. I will not say that that will be my stopping point. But what I will say is that I will have reached a really, really big milestone in my life. And y'all, when I get to my goal, I, I have to fight myself not to go deeper and explain some stuff to y'all but i'm just saying when i get to that goal and i'm able to move that colored rock out of that one jar or whatever over into the other jar it's gonna be a day it's gonna be a day but um so i'm probably going to use stones instead of pounds because that one jar that got the pounds in it that i need to lose might have to be pretty hefty size and I just want it to be a jar I don't want it to be a fishbowl so and I'm not talking about myself I'm just being honest y'all okay so um at, at the way I'm looking at it now and I keep wiping because it's sweat but um the way that I'm looking at it now I think I'm gonna go with with uh I think I'm going to go with pounds, but I might go with stones. So I just said stones. The other thing is paper, 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 paper. This is my um, little thing that I'm keeping up a whole lot of stuff with in it. Um, some some days I'm writing how I'm feeling. Other days I'm writing down what I ate. Some days I'm writing down uh, a grocery list. It's just uh, kind of like a chronicle, but an unorthodox one of where my mind is and what was going on with me um, at any given time. I'm not going to say day to day, but at any given time, you know, I'm, I'll, anytime I get in the book, I'm going to be like writing a date. So, I don't know exactly, you know, on what day, how I was, where my head was, you know, my head space. And then the next thing is scissors. Yeah, I about, I told you I'm visual. I went to school and they made us do, you know, little visual effects and stuff. So I got some things in my diet that will be being, I don't know if I'm going to pull this off. I don't know how my skills are. They ain't good. But uh, one-handed. But um, there are some things in my diet that I will be cutting out, hence the scissors. And I mean cutting, and I say cutting out, but I really mean cutting down on. Um, because that's what I've been moving toward anyway. And uh, I have been doing it uh, kind of subconsciously, you know. And it's all right. I'm cool with that. 
And um, I'll be sharing more. You know, I'm not trying to be evasive or, or anything like that. It's just that this is where I'm at and this is what I'm doing. And the base part of what I'm doing, I understand. But the rest of it, it's just kind of coming like it come. And I'm all right with that because it actually makes things kind of exciting. So I'm going to hush because I got to get somewhere. And y'all, I did another video under 10 minutes.